If you want to know what makes a video go viral on YouTube, how people are making millions with the platform and much more, which you've never probably heard before, you're in the right place. My name is Joseph Perishiv. I got over 2 million subs with my cash cow channels and in this video I'm going to show you exactly everything I learned in the past 2 years with YouTube automation and about the YouTube algorithm specifically. So the first one would be categorizing your videos. YouTube is actually actively categorizing your videos based on your titles, your descriptions, your tags, and more importantly, somebody nobody talks about its transcripts. They use all of this to categorize your videos and to pull them into buckets like finance, gaming, sports, foods, comedy, and all the stuff, even music. And then they recommend based of those categories. Again, guys, what's being said in your videos is as important, if not more important than your title, your description, and your tags, and nobody talks about this. And this is frustrating because this is very, very important for you to know in order to have success on YouTube. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you want to make a video about how you became a millionaire at 19 years of age, and then in the video, you actually talk about your grandmother's pizza's recipe, then YouTube is going to be confused, and they're going to not categorize your video correctly, and that's going to be pretty, pretty bad. Second will be click rate. Let, let's go uh, over this very, very fast and let me explain what click rate is and why it is so important. So when you go to the YouTube homepage, you will see a lot of videos that are recommended in the same time for you to watch. Now, of course, you can only pick one to watch at a time or at least that's what humans do. I don't know about you yet. Okay, guys, so now let's look about some numbers. Now, for simplicity, let's say YouTube recommends the same 10 videos to 100 people, so 100 times. If out of those 10 videos, 3 videos get 33 views each, while the other seven get none, that results in those three videos having a 33% click rate and the other seven a 0% CTR. So again guys, those three videos got shown 100 times and got played 33 times each, resulting each of them having a 33% CTR. And you might say, okay Ross, how do we make sure we're not in those seven people that got 0%? Well, it's all about your thumbnails and titles, guys. I see a lot of people talking about great thumbnails, but nobody's talking about great titles. I remember Mr. Beast was saying in one of his interviews that most people send very, very less time spending coming up with ideas and then they jump right into filming them and he said well that's important what he does is he spends weeks maybe even months coming up with ideas and then he spends the same amount of time recording them and why he's successful and now just a quick example guys so you can imagine and you can see why titles are so important imagine i have a, a thumbnail with a crash car and then the title says my grandmother's pizza recipe now, even if you'd be attracted by the thumbnail because it, there's something that you're going to want to see, when you would read the title, you're like, what the... And you wouldn't probably watch it. Now, to summarize this, get good at coming up with ideas, get, get, get good at coming up with great thumbnails. Otherwise, your people won't even get to watch your video, guys, right? That's pretty much it about this one. Let's hop into the next one. Now, let's talk about watch time per impression. This is my favorite part because YouTube is actually hiding this from us. On a less dramatic note, guys, all what YouTube cares about is not likes, comments, engagement, views, all the stuff, money. All they care is about watch time per impression. And let me explain. Let's say those previous three videos that we talked about that got 33 clicks in the scenario above are being watched by those 33 people 5 minutes each, that being the average duration. That results in 165 minutes of watch time for each of those videos and that's per 100 impressions. Let's make a quick recap. YouTube shown those same videos 100 times, those being the impressions, 33 people clicked on them and each of those people watched the videos for 5 minutes. All that results in 165 minutes of watch time and if we divide that, we get a 1.65 minutes expected watch time. And I say expected because since that's an average, that's the general data. YouTube is now expecting that every time they recommend a video, they will get a 1.6 expected watch time. YouTube doesn't bet on views, clicks, likes, engagement, all the stuff. They care about the expected watch time because they want to be predictable and they want to make money in a predictable way, not just throw spaghetti on the wall and hope it will stick. That's pretty much it, guys. We exposed the algorithm. Now, there's still something left to talk about. What about like, comment, and subscribe? Now, those are called explicit actions, and if you haven't right now, I would urge you to smash the like button because that actually helps with the algorithm or, or, or nah, it doesn't really help, but it helps me. I see you value the content that we're producing right here. Again, guys, those are called explicit actions and they're good, but not great because they don't actually help you to know what you're most likely to watch next. So then they don't know what to recommend. So you're not really helping them become predictable. So again, they're good, but not really. Then we also have the one saying that the more ads, the better. Please insert an ad right here. Play it, play an ad. <laughs> 
<laughs> just joking guys i see a lot of people in the space saying that the more ads you have in those videos the better because you help you to make more money and they want more money so spam the people with ads let's spam ads spam ads no no spam ads 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 ads, ads. and for normal people like me and you that makes sense like okay youtube is a company we make money they make money so then let me spam the people with ads until i actually found that youtube doesn't care so much about short-term profits and they actually care more about market share now what is market share now, YouTube wants more and more and more and more people to watch their platform instead of it going through the competition. Platforms like Netflix, Amazon Video, and all others, they want them to watch this platform, YouTube, because that would help them make much, much more money in the long term. Conclusion, don't spam with ads. That's it for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And before we wrap this up, I would like to give credit to one of old Meet Kevin's videos, which I used as a source of inspiration for this video. If you want to learn even more about the YouTube algorithm and dive even more needle, I highly, highly recommend you watch that video. It's going to be definitely in the description. See you next time, guys. Peace.